And a very good evening to all my viewers out there. It is right now Monday, November 28th, 2022. It is exactly 10, 11 p.m. here in downtown Montreal. And we are on the corner of St. Jacques and Mansfield right here coming up. This is Mansfield Street uh, running this way. And this street right here is St. Jacques. And the reason I'm here is because I was going to check out to see if there was any uh, light rail REM testing, REM testing. Of course, that's our newest transit project here in Montreal. And I got a tip from some fellow transit fans that they were doing tests here. Uh, but I'm looking now, I don't see any. Um, specifically down here is where the tracks are. I'm trying to make them out right there. But uh, either way, I figure, you know what? Since I'm here, why not do a walking video? It's a beautiful November evening. Uh, it's a perfect opportunity to see the city from this angle. Basically, we're facing to the north right now. There's the 1000 Rue Le Gaucheterre building. And look at that, we got an Exo bus here. Exo coach bus. And fittingly so, by the way, as we wait to cross, this right here is called the Mansfield Bus Terminus. And that service is a lot of Exo buses, of course. Uh, if you want to do some bus spotting, well, this is the place to be, uh, especially during rush hour. Uh, you're guaranteed to get buses uh, probably every second or so. Um, yeah, so we'll cross. We're going to head north. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to... I was going to go down this street here. Uh, we'll go up it, Mansfield. And we will... What I'll do is I'll go up for a bit. But I do want to try to get a view of the REM tracks for you guys. Um, and you can't really see them from that angle. So what I'll do is we'll just stay on St. Jacques Street and make our way around. There's another look at the Mansfield Terminus. Uh, there's CN headquarters, by the way, the CN corporate headquarters here in Montreal. And there's Plaza Bonaventure right there, which acts as a conference center and also inside there is Central Station. And if you kind of zoom in here, there's the entranceway to the station, the tunnel. Not really a tunnel, but the interior entrance where the trains go. Um, this here, by the way, is not the ram tracks here. This is just a ramp, I believe. We're going to have to navigate around here because of the construction. Actually, we have a little path here. Um, might get a bit noisy, so bear with me here. Just capturing the sounds, sounds and sights of the city. Yeah, so the REM tracks are actually right there. You can kind of see. Yeah, they're uh, right here. There's the, the tracks here. So we're walking under basically where the REM tracks are. Underneath, here's a little secret you may not know. But there's a storage depot here, if you want to store stuff. That's what's underneath here. And there's one, another one here, it's called the Depodium. Depodium Mini Entrepot, which means mini storage. Yeah, so anyway, you got a little view there of, you know, what it's like uh, around these, these REM trucks. You can call them either the REM or the REM. And here, of course, is Another good view of Plaza Bonaventure, uh, this beautiful light pattern. And here's Robert Barassa Street, and there's an RTL bus, 90 for you RTL bus fans. Uh, 21701 from the year 2017, I believe. Yeah, so your REM tracks, if you want to get footage, uh, this is sort of an okay angle. Um, yeah, so this is Robert Barassa, formerly known as uh, University Street, but then they changed it. So we'll walk north now, up Robert Barassa, not to be confused with Henry Barassa, of course. 
Henry Barassa is yeah, the, more in the northern part of Montreal. Runs through uh, Saint Laurent, Hansi Cartierville. This is Robert Barassa, which I think they were two uh, politicians. One of them was a former premier. I don't know if they were related or somehow. This here, by the way, used to be a hotel. This building. This is now, uh, I think, a residence, student residence or something. But this was the Radisson Hotel at one point. Um, and I used to call it the robot building because, well, if you look, it looks like a robot. You got the two arms and you got the head there. And in fact, up there used to be a restaurant that would rotate, uh, rotate around and used to offer panoramic views. But I think they took out that mechanism that made it rotate. They completely changed it around. Um, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna go this way, uh, head north, like I said. And it's a little cold right now. I definitely probably about minus five. And we have a weather special weather statement that's been issued um, for Wednesday. It's gonna be very windy uh, Wednesday night with a lot of rain. As we wait to cross here, I'll zoom in. There's a Jacques Cartier bridge way in the distance. To kind of make it out. And uh, we'll just pause the video because we're going to cross. Actually, we'll cross this way because I want to show my viewers something. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, definitely very cold right now. But I think it's a warm front and a low-pressure system moving through. So that means that, uh, yeah, we're in for a windstorm, which is normal around this time of year. And if you follow my channel, you'll see I do have quite a few videos, actually. Uh, with windstorms, at least a couple of them. And by the way, what I wanted to show you is this building right here. Uh, you may not know it, but Montreal does have a UN building. Uh, it's not the official UN building, but it's the OACE or OACI building. Which, by the way, oh, there's uh, Fire Truck 203, Pierce. Just saw it responding before. If it looks shiny and new, well, that is because it's shiny and new. It uh, just came out this year or, two, uh, year or two ago. But anyways, yeah, this is uh, it's the International Civil Aviation Organization. Uh, as you can see on the sign here, uh, that's actually a UN, UN body. And Montreal is the headquarters for that. And I, as it says on there, it's... Uh, the civil aviation organization so i think they're in ch they're, they're in charge of basically anything to do with aviation aircraft uh, from a un perspective and if you remember square victoria metro station used to simply be known as square victoria now it's square victoria oace which is oaci uh look at this we even have a nice was that a 747 or a380 looks like they're a nice little model yeah, so, uh, yeah, this is basically uh, something here in Montreal that uh, I don't know a lot of people even know about. So now we are coming up to Vijay, and we are now on a hill, walking up northwards. And there's Vijay, if you were to go down there, facing east, you get to Chinatown, and as well... Uh, Plasdarm Metro Station. So we're gonna walk north, or maybe I'll wrap it up uh, around McGill or something. And just a reminder, uh, I am doing a live stream in a couple of weeks. Oh, there's an ambulance right there. Yeah, I believe it's the 9th, uh, Friday, December 9th at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so if you watched my first live stream, thank you to all my viewers that watched, whether you were there live or watched the recording or just wanted to give me feedback. Uh, thank you again. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do another live stream uh, in a couple of a week or two, a couple of weeks. And uh, we'll see how that one goes. Should be a little bit smoother than the first one. I learned how to basically read comments while I talk. The first one, you know, was a dry run, right? So 
Uh, yeah, so this is Dillard Gaucheter. Corner of Dillard Gaucheter. And we're still going up Henry Barasa. Tell you what, we'll cross here. I gotta watch the battery because guess what? It's a cold night. 35% right now, but for those of you that know batteries and electronics, well, when it's cold out, uh, it doesn't really perform at its greatest. So I don't want to push it to its limits. There's uh, Place Ville Marie. Is the strobe light on? Yes, it is. You can see it right there. That beacon. All right, we got the signal to cross. Um, yeah, what we'll do, I'll tell you what, we'll walk down here uh, because here on Rue de Gaucheter we have Central Station. And I'll show you another little Easter egg or uh, hidden gem if you want to call it that. Um, if you're in Central Station, you may have noticed there's windows on either end of the station, the eastern end, western end. I think even the northern and southern parts of the station. Well, you're going to see where these windows are outside. Because uh, we're going to walk by. And we'll slowly make our way probably to, uh, like I said, maybe McGill, Peel Metro. Uh, like I said, definitely a great night for a walking video. Yeah, we're going to take this little laneway here, this little opening here. You're gonna see, you can kind of see it from here actually. That big window right there. That's where we're going. So I'll pause the video and when we're a bit closer, I'll resume. All right, so here we are, we're a bit closer. So basically this whole building here is uh, Central Station, or uh, Gare Centrale. Now, I just wanna tell you that these windows are frosted, so you're not gonna see much, but it will give you an idea of where it is so you can kind of make out if you look carefully if you use your imagination a bit there's the uh, departure board again you got to really make it out you got to really use your imagination but it is there and you know it'd be nice if some of these windows weren't frosted so you could see inside but uh, it is what it is um, but yeah that's central station in fact uh, I was gonna say, let's go inside, but uh, I don't trust my battery right now. But uh, well, there's more windows on the side here. I don't know if they're as clear as that. You may or may not see inside. Now, as you can see, these are frosted as well. But, um, you know, if you, like I said, if you use your imagination, you could kind of see inside a little bit. Uh, we'll walk this way anyways. And uh, yeah, we're gonna turn right on this next street, by the way. Let's take a peek, let's see if we can make anything out. Yeah, again, you know, if you zoom in, there's that uh, departure board again, uh, departure arrival board. Right there, you just gotta use your imagination. Uh, hey, whoops, there we go. But uh, yeah, it gives you an idea anyway. What I'll do is, one day I'll actually do a video inside, and then I'll come out and film as well. So you can see it more clear. Uh, at least give you an idea. But uh, anyway, just a little Easter egg, a little nugget. Um, yeah, so there's Mary Queen of the World Cathedral coming up. And we're now walking in the west direction, so. We're walking westward. Here's uh, CN headquarters, the back side of it. If you remember earlier in the video, I uh, showed you the CN logo. There's another entrance there. Uh, those windows are frosted, but if you kind of look there, there's windows there too. Uh, I think they're frosted as well. But like I said, they're at either end of, of the station. So now it's going to get more interesting because, well, we're going to be heading more towards the downtown core. Hopefully we're six foot 
six inches or less. Yes, we are. So there's the Marriott Hotel, and uh, there's 1000 De La Gosha Terre coming into view, which, by the way, at Christmas time is really beautiful. I am going to be doing a special video on Christmas decorations, by the way, and uh, seeing different buildings and whatnot. So, yeah, different buildings and whatnot decorated. Or something like this, you know, we'll put together a compilation video of, uh, you know, different lights and whatnot throughout Montreal. Whether it's, uh, you know, one, one's on residential, one's, one in, uh, one's on houses or commercial buildings or whatever. I do want to put together, uh, yeah, definitely a nice compilation video for my viewers of Christmas lights, decorations check our battery it is at 32 percent so it's holding up relatively well i think we should make it to a metro station probably be on the green line here's the sun life building and we're going to take a walk across the street and then we're going to walk left west and this street of course is rennie levesque and there's the 747 bus that's a 39 dash 014 bus that's from the year 2019 yeah here's the sun life building one of the oldest buildings in montreal and if you want to know the exact date well we're going to see in a minute there's plasma marine and that green light by the way is not the northern lights it's the light reflecting off of complex desjardins uh, illuminating off of the sky believe it or not some people do think it's the northern lights I do see how it resembles it though but uh, complex Desjardins is basically a building uh, just to the east of here which I do have videos of uh, basically it's all illuminated in green lights uh, so you know when you're looking at the building you can tell exactly which one it is but from a distance it's hard to tell where that green light's coming from Here's uh, Mary Queen of the World Cathedral, which I also have videos of. So we're going to go turn right on the next block, and that will be heading north again. Right now we're heading west, and the reason I like to you know, mention the directions I'm walking and it just helps my viewers orientate themselves a little, a little bit better, you know, if you're not familiar with the area. Now, as I was mentioning, what date was this building built? What date was it put it uh, literally set in stone? Well, here, here's your answer right here. And we're going to turn the flash on. Yeah, it says right here, this stone was laid on May 13th, 1914 by... Uh, can't really read that. Robertson Macaulay, uh, executive head of the company since 1874. So 1914 is when this building was was uh, basically constructed. There's a nice little picture of it right there under construction. Look at that. There's actually an airship. Airships were common back then. Imagine seeing an airship now in the sky, uh, also known as a blimp. Uh, wow, that would be quite the sight. And there's different businesses. You can see there's a Bank National. One of my first videos on my channel was actually an elevator video that I filmed in here. And uh, let me tell you, those those elevators in there are really beautiful. So they're old, they're ornate. Uh, when I say old, I mean that in a good way. There's flags if you're wondering. Um, I'll zoom in here. Yeah, see, so of course, you have that's the Sun Life flag, Quebec flag, Canadian flag, City of Montreal flag, and another Sun Life flag. Maybe we'll cross here because uh, it gives you a better appreciation of the size. And they do have a beautiful lighting scheme on this building, really well lit. And by the way, here's Dorchester Square, recently renovated over the last 
five years or so. Debating, maybe I should make this into my thumbnail. All right, we're about 20 minutes into the video, so maybe another five minutes or so. Uh, yeah, so this is, uh, like I said, uh, Dorchester Square. Maybe we'll, uh, let's go to Peel, which is the next street over. This here is the CIBC Tower, another large skyscraper in Montreal. And we're coming up to Peel Street, which is, like I said, the street coming up right now. And uh, maybe you visit in Montreal or you used to live here, you still do. Well, there's some, uh, these are, I guess, are pretty old establishments. We got the Peel Pub. Um, we got Shawarma's, very good restaurant, by the way. Uh, definitely go there to eat lunch occasionally. Ah, look at this, they closed this bridge off in winter time. You know, it's, uh, I guess, kind of a precaution, but I mean, right now it doesn't seem dangerous to go on. I would go on it, uh, but uh, we'll see the site here. You know what, let's walk over it, we'll be very careful. You know, there's no snow, no ice, so. And look, it's not technically winter yet, so. Literally, there's a loophole. Yeah, so we'll go on this little bridge here which is relatively new. This uh, has been here probably when they renovated this whole park. Nice view. Not that high up, but... And this light right here, by the way, this white light is from, uh, yeah, 1000 de la Grocheter. All right, so we'll carefully go back down. So yeah, as I was saying, these restaurants, establishments, some of them have been here a while. There's a... Uh, McLean's pub So again, if you visit in Montreal as a tourist or used to live here or whatnot or uh, You know you decided to go uh, to a, a pub or something. Well There's uh, some famous somewhat famous ones uh, And this is Peel and Square Dorchester. Oh, by the way Yeah, I wanted to show you this. These are actually from Ganawage um, The uh, First Nations Reserve, these Christmas lights. Uh, there's a turtle, there's a bear. When I do my Christmas uh, holiday decoration slash lights compilation video, I'll definitely include that in there. Uh, another older building. By the way, I forgot to mention, this whole area, uh, specifically down there on Metcalf, this is a very famous area for movie scenes. Um, I think the next Transformers movie that's coming out, uh, they filmed it here, partially. Um, and this is a very famous area for uh, replicating New York City. I guess it has a similar vibe. Yeah, my nose is a bit stuffed because it's cold. I do know there is a, f a pretty bad flu going around. But uh, this is not that. I'm definitely not sick. Probably will be eventually because it is that season. Um, yeah, so now we are coming up to probably one of the most famous streets in Montreal, St. Catherine Street. Specifically St. Catherine Street uh, East, I believe. Or we're still, oh no, this is West. I think East. East, I think, is, I think, past a certain point. Is it near the Jacques Cartier Bridge? I could be wrong. But I'll tell you what, we'll quickly cross here because we have time. And, uh, yeah, we'll probably end our walk at Peel Metro. Uh, to be honest, I mean, we are at Peel. So that's a pretty decent walk we did. There's another, uh, there's a cinema, uh, cinema... Scotia Bank, and that building there, by the way, really nice, really nice lighting on the roof, uh, and it changes color depending on the season. Uh, you know, if there's a hockey game or something going on in the city, uh, changes color based on that. Give you a little view facing west on St. Catherine Street, and again, this is Peel Street we're on. So we'll probably end our walk 
uh, at the Metro. But you know what I'll do? Make it a little more interesting. We're going to go in this building here, this shopping mall. Uh, it's called Le Cour Morale. Basically the Mount Royal Walkway, I guess you could translate it to. I don't know if it's, it should be open uh, for Metro access. But it'll give us a chance to warm up. And it'll take us right to the Metro. If it's open, it should be. So we'll uh, find out momentarily, and it is. Oh, no, it's not. Of course not. Uh, is this one open? Nope, it's not. Well, I guess they close it at a certain time now. Usually you're able to get into the Metro by there, but not this time. This here uh, is another interesting building. It used to be a fire station at one point, but look how, how skinny it is. Really cool. All right, that's fine because uh, we could just continue walking outside for now. Check the time. Let's see. It is 10.38 p.m. So, yeah, it's uh, kind of late. Look at this beautiful ornate building. It has a gorgoyle on it. it Looks like a military building or something at one point. Especially those chains, that black gate and those chains. All right, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep walking up here. We'll, we'll head to the Maisonneuf. Um, either way, it's, you know, it's not, not like I'm freezing. A little cold, but not too bad. Across here. Yeah, this is uh, another, what is this, Alexander Pub. Uh, this looks kind of new. I don't know how new it is, but could be here a while, maybe just renovated. All right, so now we're coming up to Rue de Maisonneuve, another, another street that's very well known in the city. And if you're a cyclist like me, oh, look at that beautiful building in there. Yeah, if you're a cyclist like me, then you're going to appreciate this because we have a bicycle path coming up here. Um, you're going to see right here. This bicycle path is renowned because of the fact that, guess what, it's actually open all year round. They actually cleared this bicycle path uh, with the plows and uh, put salt on it. So this is kept clear. It actually has priority just like uh, sidewalks and roads. So yeah, if you come here in the winter, you'll see that you know, when I do my winter walking videos, you're actually going to see uh, this uh, bike path is kept clear, which is really cool if you're uh, someone that likes to cycle year-round. All right, and here we are, Peel Metro Station. Let's go inside. Why not? Uh, we'll take you right to the platform because why not, eh? It is, uh, you know, if you're not familiar with the city, might as well show you our famous subway system. Somebody asked me, by the way, why is there addresses? on metro stations well from what i understand it's because there's an emergency or something uh, and they need to know what for example what entrance it's happening in well i guess they give that address to the dispatch center and the dispatch center will be like okay it's uh, 1115 peel or it could actually be for mail who knows i mean sometimes uh, there are businesses and whatnot in these metro stations uh, Depeneurs, convenience stores. You're going to see a really big crack coming out, much bigger than this one. I think it's actually here. So if you're not familiar with this, this is Peel Metro Station, situated on the green line of the Montreal Metro. And one of the things that's famous about Peel Metro Station is the fact that, look at the ground, it's all circles. And even here you got one big circle. Uh, no, this is not where the crack is. But we will see the crack in a moment. Nice new card readers. And the funny thing about Peel is look at these random tiles that you can tell are relatively new. Look how clean they are, how fresh they are. Uh, yeah, the crack's down here. And we'll take you right to the platform. Take you right to the metro platform. Give you a chance to see. Before I show you the crack, Let's see the string coming in. Azure, yeah, that's the Azure set. Uh, can't see the numbers. Can't see the numbers. Oh yeah, I do. Set, set number 84. 
which is right there, right in 84, the last two digits. Oh, sorry, no, set 48. What am I talking about? It's the first two digits after the 10. So set 48. And, and, here's the crack right over here that I was referring to. Pretty big crack. Uh, but I guess it's not serious because they haven't closed that pathway or entranceway. At least not yet. Uh, yeah, so look, here's our metro platform. This is, like I said, Peel Metro Station. Uh, yeah, so there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed that walking video. Like I was saying, you know, if you like what you see, uh, feel free to, you know, hit the like button. Turn on the, you know, subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. And as I always say, more videos to come. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night, everybody. And see you all soon.